Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Really excited today. I'm here with Rick Croslin, our district scientist. We're gonna do a double displacement reaction where we make copper hydroxide. Check this out. Hey, what are we gonna do gold? Soon, very soon. All you need for this reaction is copper sulfate and sodium hydroxide and a couple of graduated cylinders with distilled water. Your first step is just to dissolve about five grams of sodium hydroxide in 60 milliliters of water in one graduated cylinder and five grams of copper sulfate in about 20 milliliters in your second graduated cylinder. And then when they're completely dissolved, you're gonna combine the two. Now, once both are completely dissolved, you're ready for the moment of truth. Here's your solution of copper sulfate. Here's your solution of sodium hydroxide. These metals are gonna trade places and you're gonna immediately see a precipitant. This copper hydroxide is gonna form over here. It'll look like kind of a blue gelatin mass and also sodium sulfate. Check out what happens the minute I start adding the solutions together. There it is. After just two minutes, you can really see the copper hydroxide has precipitated out of the solution. And I'm gonna add a little more copper sulfate and you're gonna see how that's kind of suspended in the sodium hydroxide above it. Check this out. Here's a little piece of copper hydroxide that is sinking in the solution. You can see it's precipitating out of the solution as it sinks down inside the graduated cylinder until eventually it's gonna get all the way down to the bottom with the rest of the copper hydroxide. Just amazing, look at that. Interestingly, copper hydroxide is used as a fungicide to spray on fruit trees that have fungus or bacteria growing on them. So let's review what happened in this reaction. We added copper sulfate in a solution of distilled water to sodium hydroxide. This was a double displacement reaction because both metals traded places and you had copper hydroxide that was the precipitant that formed and sodium sulfate. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land and I'll see you next time.